to record palm print, a standard 8x8 card, or a heavy plain white band paper is attached to a cylinder approximately 3 in diameter. Removable adhesive tape or rubber bands may be used to attach the paper to the cylinder. Some technicians prefer to let the paper ride across the cylinder without attaching it, taking care to prevent a slippage. The ink palm is then rolled either from the base of the palm toward the fingers or from the fingers to the base of the palm. Either way is acceptable and generally left to the discretion of the technician. Most technicians prepare beginning at the base of the palm and rolling toward the fingers because this gives the technician more control over the subject and position of the print on the card. The hand can simply be pulled rather than push across the surface which also tends to help prevent lateral movement of the subject hand. The palm must be recorded in one smooth and assessing motion to prevent smuggling or distortion. Light pressure should be applied while ruling a maintained completeness and to adequately record the centers of the palms extending the thumb to the side will also help eliminate voids in the center of the recorded palm the thumbs are recorded separately because of their position on the hand <laughs> Major case print also referred to as major criminal prints are a recording of all friction ridge detail covering a hands. If necessary, this may also include a recording of all friction ridge detail on the feet in addition to legible and completely recorded fingerprints and palm prints. Major care case print include a legible and completely recorded set of the tips of the finger to include the tips palm sides of the fingers and side of the palm. Major case print are made in the course of investigating serious offenses. They are often helpful in forgery investigations since the side of the hand is printed this shows the impression of a hand and writing position. In effect, prints are made of all parts of the hand. Major case prints are often required for comparison to unknown impressions that have been collected from crime scenes. And these impressions may include areas of friction-rich detail 
that are not routinely recorded. To begin, a complete set of the subject's fingerprints should be recorded as previously described. Next, all of remaining fiction reach detail on the paraphernalia areas of the thumbs and fingers is recorded using 8x8 card or white band paper attached to the edge of a table. Beginning with the rich thumb, a thin coat of ink is applied to all of the friction ridge detail with an ink roller from the base of the thumb to the tip, including the extreme side of the finger. Usually, beginning at the lower left corner of the paper, the extreme left side of the thumb is primly pressed on the paper. The thumb is removed by lifting from the base of the thumb to the top. This will record the extreme left side of the thumb and teeth. Next to this impression, the center of the thumb is placed on the paper and is removed in the same manner, thus completely recording the friction ridge detail from the base of the thumb to the tip. The extreme right side of the thumb is then placed to the right of the center portion thus recording the extreme right side of the thumb and tip. Lastly, above the three recorded areas of the thumb, the extreme left side of the tip of the thumb is placed on the paper and rolled to the extreme right side. With one continuous motion, this group of recorded friction rich details of the thumb should be labeled or right thumb above the, rod, the rolled teeth this process should be repeated with the remaining four fingers of the right hard moving counterclockwise around the paper Now it's finished. That's all. Thank you. I'm Justin B. Didasi, B.S. Criminology, Movie. Thank you.